Hi, I'm Joy Lawrence. Welcome to my peer review tutorial. I wanted to make this video quickly for you to show you how to find and complete your peer reviews because I do recognize that it can be complicated. One of the problems for me is that I can't assign myself peer reviews in Canvas, so I can't see what it looks like from your point of view when you come in. So luckily, our distance education coordinator has given me use of her Canvas course to go in and use to show you how to complete peer reviews. So here, Sarah has assigned this deep sea basket weaving styles assignment to me, and I have completed it. So now I have two students have been assigned to me. So when you go back to that assignment, you are going to find up here your submission that you turned in, and then here you'll see assigned peer reviews. Now notice this one has a check mark by it. That's because I have already given feedback for that student. Right here, there's an exclamation point because that means I have not completed the peer review for that student yet. So you just click on that person's name and here you'll see this text box. Now you can either attach a file. So you go in, you click attach file. You go in, you choose the file and then you attach it and it'll save. And then that's it, you're done. If you're having trouble with it attaching, then you can go ahead and copy and paste the categories into this comment box, and then go in and put your feedback in with that text in the comment box as well. So as long as you get the student their feedback, that's all that I'm really concerned about. So I wanna go back to our class to show you where you would go to find that. So you would go to the assignment, the peer review assignment. And oops, I went too far. Here it is. So the peer review for essay number one, that assignment. And here is where you're going to see that information like we see in Sarah's course. The, let me go back. The submission that you have done and those reviews that you are waiting for you to complete. So again, that exclamation point means it hasn't been completed. A check means it has com been completed. So here, let me just show you again how to attach something. You can see I've already attached things. But again, you just go in, find the file that you want to attach, and save. That is it. Then if you were to refresh, you would see your attachment there. And like I said, you can go ahead and type in comments. Just make sure that you cover every category that's on that template. I hope that this helps. If you have any questions, let me know.